So this week, you are going to learn how to add data to your tables. Uh, in addition to adding data, you learn how to update and delete data. Uh, and so you're going to go through chapter seven in the book, and then you're going to go through the textbook assignment. And then you're going to finish uh, working on milestone two of the term project. So at this point, you need to have your database and your tables created. You should have the primary and the foreign keys uh, and some of the indexing in place. The order that you add data is important. Uh, you basically have to add the data to the primary key tables first. And so what do I mean by the primary uh, key tables? Those would be the tables that don't have any foreign keys. Okay, so uh, you have to add the data to zip code. And then you're gonna have to add the data to products. Okay, so in this little example, those two would be first because they have no foreign keys. Uh, then, after I get the data into zip code, I can add customers. Customers is dependent on zip code uh, because when I add data to customers and I enter a zip code, it's gonna go to the zip code table and make sure the zip code exists. That is what a foreign key does. Okay, so um, the order that you enter the data matters, <laughs> um, especially if you have foreign keys. Um, so once I have the zip code entered and I've got the customer entered, um, after customers, I could do payments uh, because the payments are dependent on the customer. And also after the customers entered, I could do the order. Uh, because order is also dependent on customer. So I can't put in an order if a customer does not exist. Okay, so it's going to go back over to customers and check to make sure that that customer is there. Okay, so um, the order that you enter things is important. And if you try to enter data in the wrong order, you're going to get errors. So if I try to enter customer before zip code, everything is going to error out because the zip codes don't exist. Okay, so the order that you enter things matters with uh, foreign keys. So uh, once you get that completed, okay, you've got your database, you've got your tables, you've added at least five rows of data, okay, then uh, you are going to submit that. And what I want submitted is the script because I am going to duplicate your uh, database on my system. Okay, so uh, you'll notice at the bottom, it tells you, you know, uh, how to get the SQL code. <laughs> that is uh, what I actually need. I need your SQL code. Uh, and then I can uh, not only duplicate your database, but I can add the data as well. Uh, then you're going to do your showcase. And this is what you are going to create to share with the class. So you're going to kind of show off your term project. So this is going to be a slideshow that you're going to create, and you're going to be adding to this through the semester. Okay, so you're going to create it, going to include your database diagram for each of your tables, you are going to display uh, the table and the data. And then once you are done, you're going to convert this into a video. The reason you have to convert it to a video is that the discussion forum in Moodle doesn't take PowerPoint. So you have to upload a video in order to share it. And so there are directions here on how to do that. Um, I also included uh, the sugar baker, baker example, if you wanted to take a look at that, in addition to the scoring rubric. Okay, so you are going to be submitting to the discussion forum. 
Okay, and here again is that scoring rubric. You wanna make sure you've kind of hit all these points. And when you upload your video, you're gonna to have to click on the arrow here. And then there is a video icon. So you're gonna click on the video icon, go over to video, and then you're gonna to have to browse repositories and you will have to upload your video file. Okay, so uh, this will choosing the file will let you go to your system, find that MP4 file so that you can upload it. Okay, and so you are going to post that. And then within the next week, um, you are going to be taking a look at your classmates. Uh, presentations and then replying to at least three of them. So that is what we're going to be working on this week. If you run into problems or if you have questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to help and have a great week.